Tasse Bhagavatu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhas. The Dhammapada is one of the 31 books that comprise the Tripitaka that contain the whole teachings of the Buddha. This is a book that anyone can read and benefit irrespective of one's religious affiliations. It recommends a life of peace and non-violence and it teaches to conquer anger by loving kindness, evil by good deeds and falsehood by truth. The Dhammapada is also called the Book of Wisdom because it is full of golden sayings and those sayings can be translated into action and thereby gain spiritual happiness and attain higher levels in the course of one's daily life. The Dhammapada was not preached by the Buddha in its present form. It is a collection of poetic utterances of the Buddha which he expounded on different occasions. The first convocation that was held after the third month of the passing away of the Buddha and at the time those utterances were arranged as a classified work in its present form, naming it the Dhammapada. Here Dhammapada is, can be translated as Dhamma or teachings of the Buddha or sayings of the Buddha. Pada should be understood as sections or parts. The Dhammapada consists of 423 melodious verses uttered by Buddha on about 300 different occasions. It presents one way of life to the Sangha, the members of the Holy Order, and another to the laity. Above all, it explains a unique path of enlightenment. Some verses of the Dhammapada deal with ethics of Buddhism and it is a cogent answer to those who are not familiar with the fundamentals of the Buddha Dharma. The book is full of stories and the relevant stories in brief are beautifully presented in order for the ordinary people to grasp the inner meaning of each verse. There are several instances that show in the Dhammapada that the Buddha has not preached only to intellectuals but also to children in their own languages. There is not a single verse in the book of the Dhammapada that can be dismissed as unintelligible to any reader. One should not be satisfied merely reading these golden sayings. They should be read again and again, together with accompanying and relevant stories. The wisdom of the Buddha lies in the exposition of his profound teachings in plain and simple terms. The basic teachings of early Buddhism remain common to all schools of Buddhism. The Dhammapada is commonly used by all Buddhists of all Buddhist traditions as the handbook of Buddhism. It is indeed an indispensable guide to deathlessness. What the Bible is for Christians, the Bhagavad Gita for Hindus, the Quran for Muslims, and the Torah for Jews, is what the Dhammapada for Buddhists. For those who are not familiar with the basic teachings of the Buddha. In the weeks to come, we will offer a series of 30 minutes, verse by verse, 
teachings on the Dhammapada, a concise presentation of the words of the Buddha. Thank you.